1529 forecast. You're looking live at a drier outlook as we look outside live in downtown Charlottesville on our East Market Street weather camera. After a wet afternoon, expect a drier forecast this weekend along with a blustery and a cool breeze. Happy weekend to you. I'm Storm Team 29 meteorologist Josh Fitzpatrick for Charlottesville and Central Virginia. Here's your first forecast. Temperatures in the 40s and 50s this morning will translate to the low to mid 60s this afternoon with a northwest breeze, sunshine and a few fair weather clouds. For the Shenandoah Valley, Harrisonburg, Stanton, and Waynesboro, here's your first forecast. In the 40s this morning, 50s at midday, and mostly in the 50s for the better part of the day with sunshine, a few clouds, and a brisk northwest breeze. Follow me on over as we check out this morning's weather snapshot coming to us from Charlottesville. Thanks to Judy Dreyer showing the maple trees in all their glory, lots of oranges and reds. We're nearing peak fall color in parts of the area, especially for Skyline Drive, Blue Ridge Parkway, the Shenandoah Valley. You're nearing peak conditions. We have a lot of good color over central Virginia, especially with those maple trees and the birch trees. And as we go into the next, say, week, week and a half, we're all going to be at peak color. So keep those pictures coming. We love to see what's going on in your neighborhood. Right now we're in the 40s and low 50s with these longer, colder overnights. That's a perfect recipe to get our fall colors to keep changing into those vibrant oranges and reds and yellows. And especially once we get some frost on Monday and Tuesday mornings. Details on that right now in a moment. But first things first, we're watching a nor'easter type of storm form as a low pressure area that came across the area yesterday with some rainfall. Well, that's now long gone, but it's not terribly crazy cooler behind this storm system, so it's not going to get very cool as we go into the next few days. In fact, later on next week, it's going to, it's going to warm right back up. Northwest blusters today, 20 to 25 miles per hour, higher gusts for the mountains, and that won't bring down too many leaves because we're not at peak fall color just yet. Northwest winds tomorrow, 15 to 25, even uh, 35 miles per hour. It is going to be a dry outlook for it most of next week, maybe even the next 10 days, folks. I do not see a big time wet weather maker in our horizon forecast for today in your storm team 29 report highs in the low to mid 60s, sunshine, a few clouds with a cool northwest breeze tonight, partly cloudy lows, mostly in the 40s forecast on Sunday. Sunny clouds, northwest breeze with highs upper 50s to the upper 60s. Now, a lot of you are wondering what is the winter going to be like? Well, I posted a video on the Storm Team 29 weather app. You have a few hours to watch it. I think it expires at midday, but I have a video that talks about our winter storm chances this winter season and what kind of weather pattern we may experience. So make sure you watch that video. It all, it's only 60 seconds, so it's only going to take a minute out of your time, and it's something you definitely will want to see. Seven day planner causes us to see a Frosty Monday and Tuesday morning in the 30s. Highs approaching 70, so cold, nice, mild days, and then pushing 80 on Thursday. Thursday is my pick day of the week with sunshine and a few clouds, but hey, there's no rain in sight in that seven day forecast. So these long, cool nights and warm, sunshiny days are perfect setup to get our leaves to keep changing those vibrant colors. I'm just thankful there's no rain this weekend. Yeah, no rain this weekend, and it looks like most, if not all, of next weekend will be dry as well, the last weekend of October. That's great. Mm -hmm. Sounds good, Josh. Yeah.